Hi, my name is Mesa Senna. My Poshmark closet is Polish It Off. And I want to talk for a little while today about following and the importance of it. Um, I do want to say that it's definitely a social media style platform. Uh, Poshmark is, and of course, following is part of the components of the algorithm. Um, it's not the most important part. Certainly, uh, if you can't follow your way um, as a shortcut to sales and success on Poshmark. Um, but like I said, it is a component. It's not going to take the place of taking great photographs and doing really detailed, um, keyword-rich listings. And so you're going to want to do that. But building relationship with buyers um, is also important to some degree. And I think I've come across a way that could really work for you in certain circumstances, especially when you have uh, niche items. Um, for instance, I like to pick up antique hats, and I'm not aware of antique hats, but I do purchase them. I find them frequently, and I'm sort of drawn to them um, in an odd way. And so... That's one of the things I'm always looking for vintage hat buyers on Poshmark. Now, in the millions of people that use Poshmark, it's really hard to find those people who are actually going to pull the trigger and pay good money for a vintage hat. And so I really need to look hard for those people sometimes to move that inventory. Another thing, you may not think, oh, you know, my items are really broad and I don't have niche you know, a niche category. However, um, another thing that I find is uh, Denver Broncos. I live in Colorado, so Denver Broncos and Colorado Avalanche hockey items. I run into them frequently. I can purchase them very cheaply. They're plentiful. And so I end up having quite a few of those items in my Poshmark closet. So one thing that I've done in the past is go and find people who sell vintage hats, and then I follow them, um, share some of their vintage hats, hoping that they'll reciprocate and that hopefully they'll share some of mine, um, which is a great strategy. However, I think I've been able to take it to the next level, and so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to go into... First of all, I'm going to go into my Poshmark closet. That's not my Poshmark closet, my closet. And I'm going to make sure that my hats are at the very top. So the way I would do that, I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, Gunny Sacks shirt up as well. Because um, I think it has crossover interests. So what I would do is go to my category, women's accessories, hats. And just make sure that I share each one of those so that they are at the top. So that as I find the followers I'm looking for, buyers and lookers of lookers at, at vintage hats. Okay, so that's what I would do. Get that everything up at the top of my closet first. Yeah, I'll leave the soles out, because that's kind of unnecessary. Back to my closet. Let's see, that gunny sacks, I want to get that up, up at the top as well, so we can see what my closet looks like. You know what, actually, let's get something a little bolder. I'm going to move the feathered one to the top of my closet, just because it's nice and bold. Now I'm going to go looking for followers, and the way I'm going to look for followers is I'm going to go to shop, and I'm going to put in vintage hat. I'm going to make sure that is in the women's category, because those are the hats that I have for sale. Um, so I'm going to scroll down and find one that is in the style of the ones, there's mine. I'm going to find another one that's in the style of... You'll see mine scattered throughout here. Let's see. I want something pretty old. Okay, that one looks like.
like this one looks like a winner so we're going to oops all right i just want to click on it once get into it i can see at the top here it has two likers where the little heart is up at the right hand corner i'm going to scroll down toward the bottom and find out who those likers are and i'm going to click on them whoops let's see i'm going to click sheesh okay that is one of them kim um she doesn't have any listings so i don't know if she is an active user or not so i'm going to go to about find out about kim right and it says that she was active last active this hour so she is a current active user so i am going to follow her and i might go ahead and give her little posh mark meet your posture uh, icon a heart the only reason i am giving her a heart is because that's a not for sale item so she's not going to go chasing her tail trying to give me an offer okay then i'm going to back up and i'm going to find this other person lilia how i don't know what that word is okay lilia lilia let's see here and i'm going to do the same thing since she doesn't have any items for sale i'm going to go to about and 16 hours ago so i would call her a current user this isn't like last active 2019 right <laughs> she's pretty current and so i'm going to go back and i'm going to follow her and i might also give her a little heart now giving her a little heart um, and giving her a follow is going to be two different types of um, notifications that she's going to receive so i'm going to try to look for a better go back into the vintage hats and look for a better example there's a nice mink cat this one has 13 likes on it so this will be a good one to show you let's get down here oops did i pass up a, who likes it here we go here's where you find who likes 651d and 12 others like this i'm going to click the 12 others and it's going to bring up all those people so i'm going to go individual i could just hit follow all the way down but i want to make sure that i am following current users some of these people may have liked that listing you know a year ago and if they haven't bought that scent you know <laughs> they haven't bought it by then the item is obviously still for sale this person is a current user i can tell because of all the listings that they have for sale although a lot of these are sold so i am going to go ahead and check this before i follow her and she was active 19 hours ago so I will go ahead and follow her and if she had anything that was not showing sold I would share but I it looks like everything in her closet is currently sold so I'm gonna go back in here and go to Regina Regina has nothing but she was active 13 hours ago so I'm gonna follow her now my hope with following and I'm just gonna go on down Doing this over and over again. Here's a bunch of solds. Okay, December 11th, I would call that active. Uh, Amanda has liked that mink hat before. She has lots and lots of followers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a couple of her items here at the top. And maybe she'll go and she'll share a couple of my items at the top, which are going to be vintage hats. And I know she's interested to some degree in vintage hats because she's liked a similar vintage hat. Oops, I went back into Amanda. Let's go with Shannon. 143 following. Not a lot going on. She's not a seller, but she was active four hours ago. I'm going to follow her, give her little pusher a heart. And I'm going to go in here to Pia. Okay. 
she has 71 shares. She has items for sale in her closet, so I'm going to give her a couple of shares. See if she'll bite and come and do the same in my closet. Okay, and then go ahead and follow her as well. Oops, I did that one. Jessica. Anyway, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that these two, I'm trying to find an, an example. So 14 hours ago, this is a current person. Share a couple of things from the top of her closet. She was active five hours ago, so I'm going to follow her as well. A couple days ago. Share. I don't like sharing sold items. I'll share her active ones. Jacqueline. December 6th, that's still current, just a few days ago, like a week ago. I'll go ahead and give her a follow and a like. Oops, don't really want to see who she's following. You could strategize that way and see who's following her. But I'm trying to be very selective. I'm trying to do this in a selective way try to get my hats sold is the agenda that I'm looking for not just random followers if you want random followers you can go right into her follower who she's following or who is follow who her followers are okay, I'm getting confused here with what I've already done okay okay got her So if I go in here, I don't think I'm going to find one on this example for you, but if I go in here and I see that somebody, see this is last active this hour, so I am going to follow them, give them a couple of shares, but I'm trying to find somebody who is not active, who hasn't been active. If I see here that they're last active a year ago or even two months ago. Sheesh, that's kind of trampy. Okay, um, hello Denver, Colorado. Hi, neighbor. Let's see here, hours ago. Ooh, and she's got really vintage -y looking things. So one thing that to be aware of is someone who is selling. So yeah, but let me go back here to our original person. So this is this Liz, Liz Smiley one. This person who has this item like mine for sale may not actually be a wearer or a buyer of these um, at the price point that I'm selling at. So while I could follow her, and perhaps I should, um, she may not be my seller or, or my buyer, excuse me, my buyer, may or may not be my buyer. She's not the person I'm looking for. I'm looking for the people who are looking to possibly buy her hat. That is like my hat that I have for sale. Or like many of my hats for sale. So you can see that you could also go in and do this with a completely different... You can shop for a completely different... I can go in and look at the Denver Broncos... Broncos items in women. I could push all my Denver Bronco stuff to the top of my page. Um, and then I could go in here and I could like all of these people or I could be like, oh, I have this hat only I have it cheaper. One thing I will say, don't go into an item and go tell the other likers don't comment here like I have one cheaper. <laughs> I have the same thing cheaper. That's really, really shady business practice. I have seen people do that, and it is super, super shady. 
So what I want to do, even though I am going to be sharing regularly throughout the day, I'm going to, for today and probably tomorrow, keep a few of my hats at the top of my listing because some of those people are taking a day or two or even up to a week to start engaging with the app again. And I want to make sure that when they come to my closet that I have handpicked them and that the first things that they're seeing at the top of my Poshmark closet are items um, that I've been targeting them to get eyes on. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, that's just, that way I'm not following like a ton of people. The algorithm is really looking for, let me turn my camera around here, hold on. I'm using, I'm figuring out how to use this. Okay, so the reason that I'm doing this and being so fussy with it is because any algorithm, you notice this everywhere you go on the internet, they're trying to put people with the same tastes and the same interests together. All algorithms seem to kind of work that way. And so... If you are trying to hyper-engage with people that do not share your interests, um, the algorithm sometimes will ding you. Sometimes it will ding you for, you know, just having an agenda where you're growing your own and not helping out others. And I think the spirit of Poshmark definitely would indicate that that is something that they're, you know, that I would expect. Uh, the algorithms are always like a huge mystery. No one ever really knows for sure what is going on. And they're constantly tweaking it on Facebook, on every platform is always changing the algorithm um, to try to get people to behave and engage in a way that helps their platform. And that is selling the most items. So it just kind of makes sense to me that being a little bit fussier about people who are in currently engaging and currently having interest in the inventory that you currently have because your inventory may change. If I stop selling vintage hats and all of my followers love vintage hats, then I'm going to have to diversify and find other followers. Um, but I feel like just finding random people who aren't actually going to engage in you in what you're doing are probably not going to be, you know, the, the primary things that you want to be doing. Following, I mean, you can spend as many days and hours as you want following random people. And of course you're going to get followers. Of course you are. But is it going to help you make sales? Maybe not, and that might be a complete waste of time just to have millions and millions of people looking at your, you know, following your Poshmark closet. I personally, you know, when you get on the platform, somehow Poshmark matches you up with about 140-ish people, and it happens automatically. I don't even think you go in and literally click. I think you just automatically have something some sort of likes that they're pushing onto your feed and you're not going to see anywhere near 141 of those people's closets that it's just I don't I don't quite understand what's going on there but I just know that just because someone's following you does not mean that they're getting your feed and your shares so I think that it's going to you know, my guess is that the algorithm is going to reward you for a more authentic interaction with people who authentically like what you're selling. So, um, instead of sending, spending, you know, hours and hours finding followers, it might be a little bit better just to look for the people who are actively searching to buy what you are selling. 
So that's my strategy. That's what I'm going to stick to because I still have to make time to list and photograph and ship and do all the, I, you know, do all the tasks that a, a one person band has to do. So anyway, I hope that this helps some of you. I hope that if you are a serial follower, that this may give you maybe a better strategy that will free up some of your time and be valuable. If it is valuable, please like and subscribe. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something that happened to me uh, a little while ago. I was continuing that process that I was showing you earlier and I wanted to show you the results that I'm getting from that. So I'm in a listing right now and I ran across one of the people here who would like to vintage hat, uh, Pauline Leonard. And when I click on here, um, she doesn't share. Um, she's never shared an item on Poshmark, and she's only following 46 individual closets. If I click her About page, and it will show you she's never even put on her profile picture <laughs> or anything. Uh, she's been on the platform, though, since May of 2014. She was last active December 7th. And she's only given a single love note, so I don't know how many things she's purchased, but she's only uh, spent the time to make a comment about uh, receiving an item. And I want you to see what, let me just do this, I want you to see, uh, it says, I absolutely love this hat, and thank you for the nice note, I will treasure it, and look at this hat that she bought. She bought a vintage hat for $23 from the 1940s, very similar to the hat that I am selling. So, um, I just feel like I wanted to share that with you and show you. I think it totally validates what I'm doing here and what I am showing you that it's actually having results. I am finding people who want to buy vintage hats by targeting particular followers and I will just show you let me go back and show you the listing that I found Pauline on let's go back one more time and this is the I'm not so far out of the way here this is the vintage hat that I was looking at followers when I found this Pauline now you guys, I'm not telling you to go stalk Pauline um, or any of these people. I'm just showing you how to find people, um, how to target certain people and to find out what their Poshmark user habits are before deciding who to follow um, and see whether you guys are compatible, whether you would actually be doing each other some good or not in the Posh universe. You can see here that there were 20 users, or 20 likers, um, of this vintage hat, and Pauline happened to be one of them. And another one I found on this very same listing, Dave D, or Denver Dave. I go to his about and see the love note that he has given. It's on a beautiful vintage hat. Um, same buyer, he spent $339 on a vintage hat. So, and Dave, yes, let's be Poshmark friends. I am definitely going to uh, follow you and love you.